series of computer edited mini picturing. I am Neha Joshi, assistant professor in mechanical engineering department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let's start with our second chapter that is NCCNC machine tools. In previous session, we covered different topics like spindle and field drive of NCCNC machine tools, actuator support bearing which are used in NCCNC machine tools, then automatic tool changers, direct numerical control and adaptive control system. Okay. In today's session, we will cover different topics like what is part programming, terminology of part programming, input data in manual part programming and formats of manual part programming. Now first of all what is part programming? The part programming is the set of machining instruction written in a standard format for the NC machine, NC and CNC machine. This instruction can be either punch on the tap using the tap punching machines or directly fed to the computer. The part program is a sequence of instruction which describe the work which has to be done on a part in the form of required by a computer under the control of computer numerical control software. It is the task of preparing program sheet from the drawing sheet. Okay? Based on the method of feeding the part program to the machine, the part programming can be of two types. First one is manual part programming and second one is computer aided part programming. Now we will discuss different terminology used in part programming. First is absolute system. Now what is absolute system? In absolute system the coordinates are mentioned in the program with respect to one reference point. Second one is incremental system. Now in incremental system, the coordinates of the point are mentioned in the program with respect to the previous point. Third one is block and words. Now each coded instruction in a set of instruction is called as word. The set of coded instruction for the NCCNC system to execute a particular movement is known as a block. A block is a group of words. The word in the block are sequence number, proprietary functions, coordinate functions, speed functions, spindle functions, tool functions and miscellaneous functions. And the last terminology is format. Format is a sequence of word in which information appears in a program. Now we will discuss uh, different input data in manual part programming. Okay? So generally uh, input data in manual part programming as you can see here as sequence number, then preparatory functions, coordinate functions, speed functions, spindle speed functions, tool functions and miscellaneous functions. Now first one is sequence number which is also known as N code. Sequence number or N code is used to identify each block within the NCCNC program. The block can be searched in a program by the controller to the sequence number. The sequence number is de uh, designated by the letter N. Okay. Now next one is preparatory functions which is also known as G code. The preparatory functions or G code are used to prepare the controller for the instructions that are to follow. The preparatory functions are designated by the letter G followed by the two digit number. The two digit number prefixed by the letter G indicate the predefined functions. Uh, for example, word G02 is used to prepare NCCNC controller for circular interpolation along an arc in clockwise direction. This code may vary depending upon the controller. Third one is coordinate functions. Generally, for the coordinate functions, x, y, z, u, v, w, and i, j, k are used. Coordinate functions designate the coordinates of the tool T for given operations. The coordinates are specified by using the word addressed x, y, z, u, v, w, and i, j, k. Let's take one example. The tool tip coordinates uh, is 125 are represented as x coordinate is 100 and y coordinate is 25. 
Now next one is feed function. Now what is feed function? The feed function is used to specify the feed rate or slide displacement. The letter F is followed by the feed rate in mm per minute. Let's take one example. If F105 is given, that indicates that feed rate is 105 mm per minute. Once the feed rate is programmed in a block, it remains fixed in all the subsequent block till it is replaced by another feed value. Next one is spindle functions, which is designated by S. The spindle function is used to define the spindle speed in RPM. Uh, suppose uh, we take S1500, that indicates his spindle speed is 1500 RPM. The next one is tool functions. The tool function is used only in C NC CNC machine with a tool turret or automatic tool changer. For example, if we take T05, that indicates that tool in turret position 5 is in operation. And last one is miscellaneous function which is designated by AIM code. The miscellaneous or M codes are used for indicating miscellaneous operations of NC CNC machines like for coolant on off, spindle on off and for stopping of the program. Now we will discuss formats of manual part programming. The different formats are used in NC CNC programming depending upon the requirement of NC CNC controller. Irrespective of the format, each block must contain the word in following order as you can see in the diagram. First order is sequence number, the second one is preparatory functions, third one is coordinate functions, fourth one is feed function, then fifth is spindle functions, then tool functions, miscellaneous functions and last one is end of block. Okay. Now, first one is fixed sequential format. In fixed sequential format, each NC block is of the same length and contains the same number of words. For example, even if the field and speed are the same for 10 blocks of NC program, same field functions and spindle functions must be coded in each block. Now next type of format for manual part programming is block address format. Now in block address format, there is no need to specify the same as well as redundant information in subsequent NC block. Only the functions which are charged have to be specified in the subsequent blocks. Okay? Only the functions which are charged have to be specified in subsequent block. For example, once a feed rate is programmed in a block, it remains fixed in all subsequent block till it is replaced by the another feed value. Next programming method is tab sequential format. Okay? In a tab sequential format, two words are separated by tab character. Two or more tab immediately following one another indicate that word which would have normally occupied the location of tab is redundant and has been omitted. Okay? So example of tab sequential format is uh, you can see 001 first letter then enter tab then 90 second letter then enter tab 50 then enter tab 40 enter tab 30 then tab 120 tab 1400 tab and 07 and then last one is end of block okay and word address last one is word address format which is generally used in uh, as a format in manual part program Okay. In word address format, each word is preceded by the letter which indicate the type of data that follows. The redundant words are admitted. Okay. Now we will take one example of word address format. N001 that is sequence number, then G90 that is preparatory functions, then G01 which is also a preparatory functions, then X40.2, Y50.3 which indicate uh, uh, coordinate functions that F100 which indicate the feed is 100 mm per minute okay then S1000 which is uh, which indicate uh, spindle speed is 1000 RPM okay and the last one is M07 which indicate the miscellaneous functions okay so this is what about the part programming manual part programming which is used in CNC machine tools and NC machine tools okay thank you for watching this video.